Welcome back guys, I think it's been a while and it's time for another video of Google Sites tips and tricks. So let's just dive in. Tip number one is to use a menu instead of pages. So as you know, when you're adding new pages on Google Sites, they will display right up on your navigation bar. So let's go ahead, click on pages, click on this plus icon and click new page. We'll call it page one. So there we are, page one. Now, if we would like to add some sub pages, you would click on this dot right here and then click add sub page and we call it sub one. And now what happens is you have your page one and you have your sub page. Now, if you have a content to display on your page and on your sub page, it's all good. You can use this option. However, if you would like to display content only on your sub pages, not on your page, instead of using the page function, we can use a new menu. So if you come up on the new menu section and call it page two, and then come and add sub page two, you will see your page one, page two, and your sub pages. Now for you to see this better, let's just go ahead and publish the site. Okay, and if we preview the site, you can see you can click on page one, you will land on your page one, and you also have your sub page. However, if you come on your page two that was created as a menu, you won't be able to click on the page itself, you can, can only come on your sub page. Tip number two is to play around with your navigation bar. So perhaps you were not aware that you can actually display your navigation bar differently. So if you come on the settings tab right here and you have a navigation, so you have two selections here. One is the mode and one is the color. So for example, from the mode, you can select top or a side. If we click on the side, you don't need to select anything else. You can simply close the tab and you see your menu has disappeared and it's on the side right here. Here. okay if we go back on the settings again and change the color you can set it black or white that will depend of your team so let's put it as a white and then you see your navigation bar has a change if we go back again and put it on the top and then leave the white you will see how your menu is looking right now now this underlying color will then come from your team you have selected and if you are not happy with this color you can change it from your team right here and if you still think something is missing you can always do your custom team from coming up right here you can import it if you have done it or just simply select create a new team and i have done another video tutorial more specifically how to set up and use custom teams on google sites now let's look on another shortcut that you can use on your Google Sites and that's by importing some code from Canva. So we have done some example a page right here. Now let's say you don't have time to design all of this or you're running out of the ideas. You can come on canva.com and search for website design. Then you will be able to see website design templates. There are loads of them, over 200,000 that can give you ideas how you can design your site. And by giving you ideas, I mean not just ideas, you can then go select the template and use the HTML code and embed it onto your Google sites. So if you click on customize this template, you can, of course, make changes right here on the Canva. You can change the text, you can change the images and keeping the layout. And if you would like to link the text, you can also do that. And I have seen in other videos by doing it, simply adding all your information right here. You can add all your links and then downloading this as either image or PDF file and then simply importing in your Google Sites. I, however, would prefer this option if you come right here on, click on more and then click on embed. Okay, so then you can get embed code that you can then add it as HTML on your Google Sites, okay? If your sites are somewhere else, so you can click on the supported platforms and you can see if you're working on a WordPress site or Medium, you can use a smart link. I always just stick with normal HTML embed code. So simply click on the copy. You see your code is copied. And then if we head back on Google Sites, let's say we want to create a new section right here. You can then use embed feature, click on it and click by embed code, embed by URL, as you might know is for YouTube videos or something like that. You can simply embed by URL. So the full code would go here click on the next, you can see a preview what you are embedding and click on insert. Obviously with this, you would have to play around and adjust it, okay, display more 
it will just by default come on a small section of your site but that's how you can speed up designing your sites really quick now the next tip is to use one of the features that i think is a bit overlooked in google sites and that's collapsible sections so if you come on the insert right here and scroll down you will see collapsible group section right here if you click on it you can then see these two tabs and essentially you will enter the text that is visible right here and then another text that will not be visible by default now google sites offer you to set this as collapsible or you can off this and you can just have like this nice layout for your text however if you just enable this feature then when somebody come on your site they will only see the visible text portion and this is really great for frequently asked questions perhaps some profiles or even something like customer testimonies or anything like that that you just want to display part of it and then if somebody is really interested to see more they can always click on the first section so if you go ahead and publish your site you will see that only this part will be visible and then if you want to read more you can click on it and then read more information about this section now the next tip is to combine a google site with workity.com now workity.com is a free online marketplace where you can post free ads in all sorts of categories and as i am aware many of you using google sites for your affiliate marketing and you have done your lead magnet pages or any other kind of product promotion pages on google sites or you're using google sites to add as your website to get approved on affiliate marketing and that's all good however as you know the main thing is the free traffic and you can get great traffic from workity.com all you need to do is to sign up by either using your email facebook or google account and then you can come here and post free ads so this is our profile style this tutorial and workity.com and you can see our products we are promoting right here if you click on the ads it's extremely easy to use the platform if you simply click on post free ads you can then select the category from here again you then select more specific subcategory and the most important place to bear in mind is promote your website tab right here where you can enter the link and promote your either affiliate page maybe your google sites page or directly your affiliate products and you can also choose the button text you would like to display for example or the now enroll now watch now this is my website by now get started get instant access or get this deal right now and so on okay so let's say click on and get this deal right now click on confirm and you see how your button will look on your ads and you are able to link it directly you can also have some uh, paid uh, feature options right here but these are all optional okay so you can post your ads absolutely for free on this platform and that's it for today's video i hope you enjoyed it if so click the subscribe button click the like and comment down below what you would like to see next i'll see you in the next one